This is uh, the first regional conversation that the Pacific has ever had on gender equality and social inclusion in the fisheries sector. Um, it's a partnership between FFA and SPC. Within SPC there are actually two major programs that have contributed to this convening and that's uh, the PUMP uh, program and also the Pacific Women Lead program. It's a, an important conversation because, um, as you would know, uh, the fisheries sector is always narrated as a male-dominated sector. But in reality, there are a lot of women, and I dare to say there are more women than men that are in this sector, but they're just invisible in the roles that they play. Um, a lot of times we think about fisheries only in the context of offshore shipping uh, or fishing and that largely involves men. But when you look at fisheries in the context of inshore fishing and particularly the daily livelihoods of a Pacific people, it's really the women who are dominant, who are doing this type of work. So this um, uh, uh, Talanoa or talk story really hones in on the importance of women's uh, contribution in the sector and the need for programs and policies to recognize that contribution. This is my first time attending the gender symposium and I've learned a lot about the importance of gender equality and social inclusion. From the outset, the Jesse Symposium, the Jesse in Fisheries Symposium is such a great platform. It's the first of its kind, it's the first in the region because last year we did the National Women in Fisheries Forum on a national level and to see the regional one happen this year is such a big, it's, it's encouraging to see that it's now recognized well, the gender in fisheries uh, concept is now recognized regionally to try and bring together experts from across the region to try and address uh, issues and the challenges that different people face on the ground at this level. Eh? Um, I would like very much to actually fisheries um, participants, the fisheries uh, organizations, the ministries, the government ministries for them to recognize the fact that for us, uh, especially like women, we need the enabling environment to actually thrive. What I've learned in this symposium over the last two days is there is one important narrative that is missing and you know we're here to talk about gender and then the focus is on Jesse. Jesse. But I think the D part is missing in data collection. And the D is about disability. There are people in that value chain for fisheries that um, are people with special needs and are not able to do the actual fishing, but their data is lost, or maybe it's captured but not narrated. And that is something that needs to be told. They have a voice as well. They're part of the SI, which is the social inclusion. So thank you very much, FFA. Dr. Manu and um, also SPC, our sister from Fiji, as well as uh, Minister Mona from uh, Niue and other participants. Um, without them, then uh, we will not be here. Thank you also to the people, the lovely people and government of Solomon Islands. Thank you, Thomas.